Hey guys here, so today we got a uh, limited coming tomorrow. We can take a look at the tweet, but it uh, just says, see who joins the Chargers running back tomorrow on GMM. So nothing there. Sometimes they do give hints, and I wanted to make sure you saw that. Uh, we got a little bit else to talk about tonight outside of the card, because, you know, that's just one little thing. Let's go through the sponsor quick, and then we'll uh, go through the rest of it. Um, I'm going to play this quick little ad. Rock Bottom Coins is the number one place to get your Madden 21 coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 15% off. And remember to continue on to that. This morning, I did mention they're doing a playoff special Friday morning where code GUTBOX is 25% off. So if you wait till then, you get a little bit better deal if you can wait a couple days um, for that to go live. So, end of the ad, on to the mutt stuff. He is a receiving back, which is my belief. You know, this is current gen, not next gen. The best archetype in the game. Next gen, I can see the arguments because ball carrier moves are kind of what you need. more. The left sticks, you know, I think it's just more fun. It's more skillful and it's, you know, better than like jukes and spin on current gen. But next gen, jukes, spin, uh, bruiser, stiff arm, that stuff seems a little bit more effective. And the left stick took a huge nerf bat. Uh, but this card right here, Austin Eckler, current gen will be a stud. Now... Obviously, there is a lot of competition at running back. Probably the most jam-packed spot in Mutt. I think EA just loves releasing running backs, and I think we as consumers love getting them because you know what? It's kind of fun with running with different guys. That you know, uh, you know, for anybody that's played fantasy, we've had a lot of different great ones over the years. But uh, it is kind of cool this variety. Uh, the biggest comparison would be Kamara, the other receiving back that's you know beastly. And then when you look at it, Kamara here, 96 speed. Obviously, I can go to the attributes, but that's with all of his stuff boosted. He has, uh, of course, the you know the plus one that he got this week. But 98 speed, which he will get powered up on a theme team up to 99 speed. So that's kind of neat for Eckler, right? Very similar to Kamara before the plus ones. Acceleration, 95. Agility, 95. Change direction, 92. A little bit lower you'd like to see. But uh, agility and acceleration also nice and high, too. And so he'll basically be Kamara. So, I don't know. I don't mind it. He'll run like a beast. He'll move like a beast. And uh, he should be fun to use out there on the field. But it isn't anything we don't already kind of have. But for Chargers theme teamers, big thumbs up for you guys. All right, congrats. Um, the other one, I believe, if I take a look, um, the other three teams that are left for limiteds, I kind of want to go through this. Um, somebody posted it somewhere on the subreddit. The last three teams, what were they exactly? Obviously, Chargers. Um, shoot, I don't actually see it at the moment. Something the comments can put it, um, and you guys can kind of guess on what it could be, but they didn't really give us any hints, so... Oh, yeah, Dolphins, Texans, and Washington football team all need a limited left. So your guess is as good as mine there. All right, I do want to talk about right now for the rest of this video abilities, right? And, and they're kind of the most important thing in the game. They're different a little bit. You guys remember a while back, it's been a few weeks, um, maybe even, in, nah, probably not a month yet, but like a few weeks ago, I, I updated my tier list for offense, defense, for abilities. And uh, here it is for like the S, A, B, C. I might go over it again and kind of think of which ones I like the most. But I think the biggest imbalance in the game right now is the ability points. And it's something I should keep taking a look at as we go along. And I kind of want to talk about which ones I think maybe are a little too much. Which ones are a little too little. Um, and, and like I have notes on here like QB Playmaker C tier or sorry B tier. But it's just because it's too expensive. But the thing is like I don't think it should be any cheaper. Quarterback playmaker is wicked, right? Like, in, in my ideal world, <clears throat> because of the, the weakness of some of these... Sorry, <clears throat> I got like a frog in my throat or something. Because of the weakness of some of these things, um, I do believe they should double the amount of ability points we have and then double every single ability except for the trash tier ones, like in this area, right? These things can stay at 1. Um, some of these should obviously stay at 1, 2. Um, the ones that aren't one already could stay where they're at. Uh, but the, everything else should, like, double in price. So that way, like, some of the, the, the worst ones, right? The ones that give you advantage for X factors. Those ones can stay at one, so that way come a little bit closer to valuable. Because right now, wasting an AP on Homer is just... It, sh it might as well not even be in the game, right? Um, and with that, what else are we looking at? 
which ones are too much? All right, which ones? Sorry, which ones are like overpowering? I think the best ones. I, I don't think these things need to touch. I don't know why they touch Gunslinger. Gunslinger is like the only way we can like pass the ball in this game. Set feet lead, you can do it too. But Gunslinger is like needed in end cards now. So any nurse to that is just more of EA showing their idiocracy, and uh, I don't want to see that. I, I think Hyrule Masters S tier, but I think it's fine as it is. Escape Artist is fine, doesn't need to be touched. These ones, Threat Detector got nerfed pretty. No, Threat Detector is okay. They increased the price of it, I believe. So I'm okay with Threat Detector where it's at. Um, Fearless, we haven't really seen a lot of people because most people are running Gunslinger in that third spot. Um, evasive, I could maybe move down a tier. But the ones that I really do think need to be a little bit more expensive are probably the man coverage ones. Um, like, I think one step ahead needs to be nerfed, right? That, that's the biggest defender in the game, in my opinion. A lot of people are saying go up to like, you know, five, six in there. And I'm fine. If they increase it to four or five, I think that's the right reason, region for one step ahead. If they keep it at 12, if they don't go with my suggestion of double AP points and double everything else um, in order to make like the uh, the bad ones a little bit more reasonable. But uh, I guess there's, in the end, there's not a problem that there's like just some trash tier ones that nobody ever looks at. It's just kind of uh, on a game balance point. Like they put in this effort to put these in the game and then nobody uses them because they're uh, not any good and uh, basically useless. So, that one, right? One step ahead, I think, is the biggest problem right now. I think Deep Route KO, Medium Route KO are really nice, too. I think those are a little underrated. I put them B and C because I think against Route Techs, they aren't as powerful. But against regular cards, like without Route Tech, I think Deep Route KO, Medium Route KO are solid as long as, you know, they're not, you know, great man beaters beating you with those crossers, posts, slants uh running back uh angle routes those things still beat it regardless i think stuff like strip specialist i don't know if i like it in the game right there's only one spot where strip specialist works and that one spot is basically just when you use a blitz the quarterback and take it out of their hands so i think strip specialist itself should probably just go away um that one i don't know it's annoying it is what it is though Double or nothing is less effective in next gen. That's fine. I'm hearing a lot of talk about uh, pick artists on next gen being kind of good. Um, but I don't know. At current gen, I haven't really tested that much. Uh, obviously, the new ones, recuperation, stamina, whatever, um, is what it's fine. Deflator. I didn't I didn't line up enough hit sticks with the guys to get deflator. Though I've hit sticks quarterbacks before and they don't fumble the ball. It's frustrating. Uh, the inconsistencies in hit sticks too. But uh Playmaker itself. What do you guys think about Playmaker? It is super powerful. It's 4 AP though. Does that need to be increased in AP uh, to make it even more expensive? Because it is it is amazing how good it is. The only reason people don't hate Playmaker is because they just haven't gone up against a lot of them yet. So overall though, like a lot of the abilities I feel like are pretty close to being right. Other ones that maybe could go up a little bit would be these uh, um, mid-zone KO Mid zone knockout, I think, is going to go up to A tier for me because it lights up for everywhere on the field. Now, the mid zone K only, the K only works at the mid medium part of the field, but the mid zone KO lights up all around the field. So, like, I I don't know about deep zone KO, um, but like deep out, din, deep in zone KO, whether they light up all over the field too, but those, those work with the knockout. But overall, like, maybe that needs to go up in AP. Maybe each of those, like, uh, zone cornerbacks, like, just raise it for one on every single one acrobat still wild sometimes it works against you rarely works for you but it works against you a ton um edge threats i i had to put back edge protectors because too many people started targeting me with edge threats so i got rid of them um i had to I had to basically give up two ap and i'm just done with that i might go down to one ap and then move that tackle around um uh, depending on what my opponent's doing with his d-line but yeah, let me know what you guys think about uh, AP on uh, any abilities. I, I think this year, I don't feel like anything's too wild overpowered. Like the big, the best scheme right now is like you know everybody's running mid blitz. Not everybody, but there's a lot of people running mid blitz with uh, four one step aheads, and that stuff can be very very powerful. And because like I saw today, Route Tech I watched the video uh, from Ant Camp about Route Tech not lighting up against one step ahead. So being inconsistent and one step aheads not doing anything. Uh, or sorry, route tech's not doing anything is very annoying. Um, so I, I don't know if it's supposed to be coded that way. So that's why I think like one step is the one that I truly think needs to be nerfed and nerfed a little bit uh, hard. I'm okay with the over nerf right now, but I'm going up to 5 AP. I wouldn't say a fucking peep about that. 
5 AP is fine for me on that one. But then everybody's going to go to deep route KO. And uh, I think maybe that needs to take a nerf bat to it also. So let me know what you guys think. Is that is that targeting man coverage too much? Let me know for sure. Stonewall, I, I wish I could use it more. I mean, like, I think on next gen, Stonewall is way more important because you run into a lot more Derrick Henrys. And people just run the ball and fall forward. You're four yards down. And so Stonewall may be the move there. Uh, but like current gen, I, I don't see the same problem because I, you can land a little bit more hit sticks and weight doesn't matter as much. So that's my thought on that. As for Mutt stuff, not entirely sure what else is going on tomorrow. Pulling packs, getting prepped, team of the year, we still don't know. Um, I did see this thing. Um, somebody tweeted this at me. Um, Chris tweeted it at me and I wanted to kind of uh, talk about it, talk about it on the stream. But this was interesting. I don't know where they got this information from, but they have this graphic here. Say Madden October, which is wild, super late. Now this could be next gen. So this is PS5 2001. They could put out like they did this year. Current gen comes out in August, and then next gen comes out a little bit later again for 22. And but like we'll find out about next month when EA holds their investor conference about what quarter they're gonna launch Madden 22 and next gen, current gen because. They'll disclose that about, you know, what's coming up, what you should be respectful for revenue for their shareholders. So October is in uh, the quarter after our normal launch time for Madden. So they'll let us know if, if that's supposed to come. And it's their Q3 because they have Q1 starting in March. It's really weird. But anyways, we'll find out when they do the investor call here soon about that. But that is kind of wild. And they also have LV the show between April and May. So I really hope it's it's coming in March though. Anyways, that's it for the video. Um, I don't know. If you guys, yeah, keep your ear to the ground. Always let me know. Keep me up to date on any news, any breaking news, because it's interesting to talk about it. Um, will players come out and make a 50-50 Panthers theme team? I don't know, but I know it when I see it. It's like pornography. I don't know it, but I know it when I see it. So we'll see what happens with theme teams going forward. We got the uh, Browns. Oh, sorry. The Jets theme team going up my Gut Fox 2 here. Not today, but maybe tomorrow. We'll see. But anyways, that's it for the video. Let me know about what we talked about. Hopefully you liked it. Thumbs up if you did. Thumbs down if you didn't. Subscribe always helps. Appreciate you guys. And I will see you tomorrow.